Hello my fellow nerds out there, so we're going to reach you and welcome back to the life we've chosen. Um, last part we left off of this choice here, so do we, if we just go with her or not. And honestly, I'm a lot more curious about the demon to be honest, I kind of want to know a little bit more about him. But... And I do want to see what the other path leads to if we say yes. And also, kind of disappointed, nobody voted in the comments. <laughs> but, you know, you know, it's fine. Beggars can't really be choos choosers, so... <clears throat> Anyways, I... Anyways, uh, we're gonna go with the no option, just just for this run. And I promise we'll go back to and get, and get the yes route, too. So... So, let's go ahead and say no. A look of disgust flashes across Ella's face. Why are you like this? What are you afraid of? Nothing. It's a lie, but I know I can't trust her with the truth. You're going to be alone forever. So what? Is that wrong? Maybe I want to be alone. I'm taken aback by my own harsh tone. And so is Ella. But I realize I don't regret it. Her expression changes from confused to defense to defensive to angry? I stare at her as if daring her to argue back, but no more words come out of her mouth. The weak, the weak part of me wants to apologize. I've clearly wounded her, and that's something I've always been afraid of, afraid of doing. However, it's it isn't my problem if it if it my confidence hurt, if my confidence hurts her. It isn't wrong of me to be honest with her, and with myself. She's not going to convince me to second guess myself tonight. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Not, not ever again. Leave. I don't let her shocked face sway me. She waits an embarrassing amount of time before getting in her car. I bet she wants me to change my mind and beg her to stay. I won't give her the satisfaction. <clears throat> Recalling her words, her words threatens to make me angry all over again. She wants me to abandon the demon. The demon who has been on the one bright spot in my life at this past year. The one person I truly look forward to, see to seeing. How can she claim to care for me? Then, she, then she makes, then makes a demand like that. I'm more hurt on the demon's half than for my, than for my own sake. Ella didn't give them a second, didn't even give them a chance. By the time I have, by the time I have the thought to go, to go and apologize to the demon, my feet have already taken me halfway down the path through the forest. I arrive at, arrive at the lake to find the demon there. Just the way they, they were earlier. I walk up slowly, suddenly unsure what to say. I give them a bashful glance, but it's difficult to look them in the eye, and I end up speaking to the lake rather than directly to the demon. I'm sorry. The demon inhales and clearly exhausted. I am too. Oh god, I think I'm losing my demon voice a little bit. <laughs> For a moment, we just exist in silence, separately to separately but together. The lake looks the same as ever. The, the night's events have left me wary, but at least I still have this. <laughs> Is your relationship with the red-haired one mended? No, she said some things that hurt me a lot. I'm finding it. I'm finding I don't really want to talk about it. I didn't come here to lament, lament the loss of a friendship that has, that hasn't caused me more stress than joy for years. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. It's not your fault. 
And I think this would have happened sooner or later, regardless. How grief later. To be honest, I feel better. I was under the impression she was a beloved friend of yours. I thought so too, but it seems that was my biggest mistake. I think I'll be better off without her. The familiar lakeside and demon's presence have calmed down my nerves in mere minutes. I can breathe again. The pale gray lake ripples softly. Ella has no place here. I should have known she wouldn't understand. It's just the demon and I, and I'm at peace with that. Suddenly, something changes. The ground beneath my feet shifts a little, or perhaps the entire forest does. The demon is moving. Whoa! Whoa! -ho -ho! They stand up slowly, every ancient bone in their body snapping to their to the rightful place, one by one to make the motion possible. They, the terrify the terrifying sound echoes through the through the forest. Somehow, the demon doesn't even seem to be in pain. Their face looks the same as ever. They must have done this before. Repairing the broken body seems to be to be only a matter of will to them. The little twigs and leaves that once rested in their stationary form have fallen off, and they're there are even feathers. The demon's cloak falls off their shoulders, revealing torn remain remains of a pair of wings. Countless dark feathers flutter on the ground, on the ground, twisted and lifeless. <clears throat> There's something vis viscerally, scarily familiar about the sight that makes me nearly tear up on the spot. I understand. I would, I would say, if I could bring myself to speak. Even while I while standing on two feet, the demon still appears hunched over. They look terribly old, weighed down by millennia of pain and indifference. I feel an overwhelming desire to take their hand and steady, and steady them like one would for a frail grandmother, but, but I know I'm too, far too small to support them. <coughs> Is it time then? Their voice is distant, and I never realized just how softly they speak. Time for what? My departure. What? I feel as if I swallowed an icicle. They're thinking of leaving? But this is your home, isn't it? It has been for a time. Do not feel sad. I will find another. Why now? They didn't even avoid eye contact with me. They speak once again in the calculated tone that leaves me feeling disconnected. When a human, a temporary being, desires to grow, it is only right that my kind make room for them. I will move for you, if that is what you desire. I didn't ask for this. They didn't have to do this for me. I never asked them for anything. But regardless, I become a burden again. I've never said I wanted you to leave. As if caught off guard by my broken voice, the demon looks at me for a brief moment. They can't seem to hold eye contact, though, as they speak with a wavering tone. You've lost something dear to you tonight. Whether you admit it or not, this occurred because of me. So what if it did? It was my fault too, and hers. Especially hers. My jaw clenches painfully. It's her fault the demon feels guilty. You will surely begin to forging new relationships soon. When you do, it is for the best that I am not in your way. I don't want to believe their words, but they seem convinced. You really believe this is the right thing to do? Humans' lives are short. They are better spent with your own kind, not with old relics such as I. Don't you agree? Is this really how it's supposed to go? It doesn't feel right. But the demon does does have an infinite amount of experience in this subject. They were right to warn me about intru introducing Ella to them as well. I know nothing compared to them. The demon regards me with a soft gaze. 
let us close this chapter. I like- Oh, we actually get to pick an ending! If you think it's for the best, I'd like you to stay. Oh! Ooh, I'm, I'm been, I'm been this is probably an ending thing. Okay, let me save real quick. Alright, so I saved. Um, oh, I don't know which one to choose. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just see what happens if we let them go. I think, I just want to see what happens if we do that. If you think it's for the best. A tangible sadness hangs in the air. There are things on my mind I've been wanting to tell the demon. Things I won't be able to say after they've gone. I should make their departure as painless as possible, but... Oh! Oh no, what do we say? Um... Um... Okay, let's just... Okay, let's just say... Let's just not say anything. Although there are so many things I want to express while I still can, I, I hold them all back. Speaking would only hurt us both. The demon knows this as well. They, fa they face the lake without looking back. I close my eyes and the demon takes a step forward on the dry grass. Farewell, human. I wish you the best. He's gone! I open my eyes to find them flooded with, flooded with emotion. The lake ripples like always, blind to the tragedy that just occurred. <laughs> I raise my head, knowing I won't see the demon beside me anymore. Even their torn feathers on the ground have vanished. The soothing sound of their voice, their unchanging comforting presence, all gone. I'm crying after all. For a moment, I really thought I was going to make it out without crying. I almost made it. End two. Oh, so that was one. So that was the first ending we got. So that was the second ending that could possibly happen. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we already got one ending already. Honestly, that was probably a really sad ending. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I kind of want to go back and see what would what happen if I said something. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and say before you go. I I'm not sure if this will change the ending, but let's just see what happens. I speak up against my better judgment, emboldened by my family at this moment. I know what I'm about to say will only make, th make saying goodbye more painful, but I must say it. I breathe in the fog mel fog's melancholy scent, willing myself not to get emotional. I just need to say the words, the last thing there's left to say. No way! <laughs> Bro! I love you. Time freezes as if I said nothing at all. Demon's eyes are unreadable. And more so than before, I wonder if confessing to them was callous of me. But what's done is done. I slowly, slowly they avert their gaze. When they speak, their voices are strained by thousands of emotions. For the demon's sake, I pray none of them are like mine. If that is so, then I will not make this any more difficult for you. They face the lake without looking back. I close my eyes and the demon takes a step forward to the dry grass. Live well, human. I open my eyes to find them flooded with emotion. The lake ripples blind to the tragedy that just occurred. I raise my head knowing I won't see the demon beside me anymore. Even their torn feathers on the ground on the ground have vanished. The soothing sound of their voice, their unchanging, comforting presence, all gone. I'm crying after all. 
For a moment, I really thought I was going to make it without crying. I almost made it. Okay, so that's still N2. So it just changes a little bit of dialogue. Oh, okay. So it's just it's just the same dialogue, I guess. Okay, I, I loaded back to this point, so let's just see what happens if we say if we ask them to stay. I I'd, I'd like you to stay. The demon doesn't say anything. They won't even look at me. But they're but their held breath doesn't go unnoticed by me. I know they heard me. I speak up with more confidence this time. If you want to leave for your own reasons, I won't stop you. But I want you but I want you to know I'd miss you terribly. I'd rather you stayed. My departure would make your life easier, will it not? It is difficult to exist in two worlds simultaneously. You've expressed this sentiment before, yourself before. Yes, but I don't just want an easy life. There are things that are just as important. I just didn't know what to look for, or what I even wanted. I think they found some... I think I found someone worth hanging on onto in you. You've become a part of my life, and I really, really... A part of my life I really, really treasure. The demon gazes at the grey sky with empty eyes. Even nature itself is silent with tension. As if in slow motion, the demon collapses to their knees. Before I know it, I rush to their side. Are you alright? They refuse to meet my eyes. This, this close, I can feel their cold, scentless breath all around me. The demon gathers their strength for a short moment before spe speaking in a sorrowful tone. I've been lying to you, human. I presented you an indifferent facade, but the truth is, I am afraid. For centuries, I have confined myself to the small corner of the planet, where I thought pain would not find me. But I've come to realize yet again that there is that there is no escape from it. Were I to leave now, my core would still ache each time you cross my mind. You've left your mark. You would become another human in my memories, whose life I made worse, another human I made suffer, another life I ruined. You haven't ruined anything. I I trail off as I realize the demon wasn't done speaking. And if I stay, someday far too soon, I will lose you regardless. I think I knew. It hurts to it hurts to be an undying entity on earth, surrounded by beings who can never stay with you for long. I knew, but I still I've put them in the exact position where they're, they were trying to escape. I'm sorry. If I'd understood, understood sooner, that I would have pushed my com company onto you. I'm sorry for that. The blame is entirely mine, human. Do you regret it? The time we shared? The demon shakes their head subtly. No. Every moment we've shared has made my existence less lonely, if only for a short time. I can never regret any of this. If you don't regret it, then isn't it worth it? Perhaps for me it is. However, your life is limited. By spending it with me, you will miss out on so much. I don't want to miss out on you. I know, I know it now. This isn't wrong, it never was. I thought it, I thought it had to be wrong because that's what everyone says. But I couldn't realize I was just scared. As I always am. I wish I'd seen the truth sooner. I don't know how long I'll live, but 
I want to make the most of it. And I think it, the best version of my life includes you. A mournful sound makes its way out of the demon's throat. But they cannot bring themselves to speak. My own voice shakes as well. I can't promise I'll live very long, but I can promise I'll try. And I'll try my best and I'll take I'll take damn good care of myself so that we have so, we have as much time together as possible. The demon breaks into silent sobs. Air reverberates in, in the ribcage with every broken breath. I can only watch them as they as warm tears stream down my face. There's no question, however, my heart still says it's worth it. I speak although my voice is thick with emotion. If I promise that, will you stay with me? A rattling breath flows through the demon's lungs as they collect themselves. Yes, I will stay human. Call me Willow. That's her name! Her name's Willow! Oh, it's, oh we, we actually never knew her name before, before now, right? Willow, you may call me Hayes. So that's his name. Willow and Hayes. Oh, that's so cool. Somehow we formed a habit of watching the sunset together every night, regardless of season or weather. You'd think the routine would get old after a while, but it turns out that every sunset is different from any other. Every quite... Every quiet conversation we shared in those m moments is likewise unique. Oh, this is so cool! A gentle gust of wind ruffles the demon's feathers, but they don't seem to mind. Maybe it's pleasant to be out in the forest every once in a while. It is for me. This one's nice, isn't it? I've seen better. That's not fair, of course you have. <laughs> Hayes looks down at me with, with a soft but melancholy look, look in their eyes. I regret you won't be able to see the full range of beauty this planet has to offer. You would enjoy the sights more than I will. I sense the immense sadness behind their words, but I won't let them, let them dwell on it on an evening like this. Haven't you heard? Beauty is subjective. If I say this is the most beautiful sunset in the history of Earth, you can't prove me wrong. Hayes almost chuckles. One day I'll get to hear what their laugh sounds like. Perhaps this is the most beautiful one, then. It's an odd feeling, knowing Hayes might, might be here watching the same sunsets a thousand years after my own existence has ended. I'll likely never fully comprehend what it's like to live for eternity. I'm just human, after all. Hayes has never asked me to be anything more. I put extra effort into my smile. Hayes, when I'm gone, watch the rest with someone else, alright? Hayes doesn't respond. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, their eyes say. I know. But this year, but this year a feeling of, has been growing inside me. It's a confident and non-apologetic feeling. There's one thing I'm sure of, one thing that keeps me from succumbing to hopelessness I use to center my life around. There are people out there who will love you even if you don't. I don't know if Hayes believes me just yet, but as the sun begins to sink below the horizon, I'm certain they will. I'll make sure of it. I'm glad you asked me to stay. I can, I can only smile. There's nothing else I need to hear. We still have more sunsets left than I count, than I can count. End three. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, that's the best ending. That's gotta be the best ending in my opinion. Oh, that's really cool. Oh. Thank you for these moments we've shared. Oh, oh, it's the demon's voice. Thank you for these moments we've shared. Take care now, human. Wait, is there anything else? No. Whoa. 
That was an incredible ending. Oh, okay, so we got like one more ending to go to, and I think that has to do with us saying yes to Elsa, to Ella. So I'm gonna load back there and say yes. Okay, I went ahead and said yes. I close my eyes and trust myself to Ella for, for the moment. She knows what to do. I feel I feel her warm breath before before her lips touch mine. Is this how it's supposed to feel? It's definitely not perfect. Magical kiss they describe in stories. But stories are just stories. No real kiss measures up to them anyways. I don't understand what's going on, but this, it doesn't feel wrong. When Ella ends the kiss, I turn out, it turns out I wish I had, it had been longer. The moment of sil silent contemplation between us. I realized I barely did anything to contribute to the kiss. For Ella, it, it must have felt like kissing a dead body. What about the demon? Ella shakes her head as if to shush me. I'll help you get through this, but forget all about all that weird stuff soon enough. What are you saying? Her stare is cold and is as cold as steel. I promise me you won't talk to it anymore. I think I knew it was coming, but the bold ultimatum still gives me pause. She's really making me choose? Why does it have to be so dramatic? I know why. If I hadn't shown her the demon, this would, wouldn't have happened. This is my own fault. If I hadn't done what I did, then I could have stayed close with both Ella and the demon. But now it's too late. She won't be happy unless I leave my time with the demon behind. Oh! Oh, damn! Okay. Okay, so... I'm assuming no, I won't lead them, just leaves us just leaves us with ending two and three. So <clears throat> let's just go ahead and say alright, I trust you. I've never really given her a chance. She's always trying to help me out, but I kept rejecting her advice for years. <clears throat> Maybe I should have just listened to her from the start so glad. I still don't know how it feels, but all this is happening too fast for me to understand. But at the same time, it feels as if this is some, this is how it's supposed to go. I've never believed in saying love conquers all, but maybe I'll give it a chance. Maybe I'm finally strong enough. Maybe I've, oh, maybe I've always had it in me. I just don't know how just don't know until now. Ella lets out a relieved, a relieved laugh. Wow, oh, after all these years, huh? Everything is going to change. I know it would, but not like this. It's been three years now. It's been three years and she still comes home every, every day wearing the same smile she always had. she's always had. Likewise, I'm the same I've always been. Is this really what she wanted? A quiet life with me? I have nothing to offer her, and I doubt I ever I ever will. I'm not built for this. She'll grow tired of this someday. It's just a matter of time. I hope I'm mentally prepared for that day when it comes. Sometimes when Ella's staying at her parents' house, I get on my bike and head down to the lake like I used to. Even though I know the demon is not there, they've left me. I understand why. I left them first. I didn't visit them for months after I moved in with Ella. They must have they must have thought I'd left for good. Still, I keep hoping someday they'll return to this place. Guilt gnaws at me every time I sneak off to go to the lake. I still can't be honest with Ella. All she's ever asked, asking me was, was for me to forget about the demon, but I'm not strong enough, enough to even do that much. I keep breaking my promise to her over and over again. I call for the demon, but they do not come. I've tried apologizing. I've tried sitting in silence, as we often did. I've even cried. I've tried everything. <clears throat> but there's any... 
If there's any chance they'll come to see me again, I'll keep doing this. Even when I'm old someday, I'll keep coming here as long as my aging body allows. I still haven't learned any anything, have I? <coughs> End one. So that is the first ending. <clears throat> Damn, that's probably the saddest ending of all of them. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably the saddest of all the endings. Damn. <clears throat> I know I probably should have gone with the endings in order, but... But, you all know me, I always go endings out of order and stuff like that. So... Any... So, anyways, um, that's gonna do it for the life we've chosen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, please leave a like, comment what you think, share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye! Try, but you never do Sugar, there's a